<laughs> His mother, Jane, lectured my mother on her wedding day about the importance of dieting. A moment of temptation in your face, a lifetime on your waist. While my mother extolled another seesaw weight loss nobody else could see. In junior high, when I gained 30 pounds, she told me, all the weight I've lost has gone on to you. <laughs> and offered me a handful of bright yellow tablets and a disposable napkin. On water pills, I vibrated around the house like a mosquito and pissed violent jets of colorless urine. One night, I woke up in a sweat glaze, my heartbeat cinched around my throat. You can have these back, I told my mother. <laughs> Jane gave Richard a wedding card. He opened it at the outdoor altar. There was a $50 bill inside. My mother gasped. When the yelling started their honeymoon night, I realized her gasp was stunned disappointment. This was the second wedding my grandmother missed. She'd form her own specific opinions on Richard. When he took over the weekend cooking, he made too much goddamn white food like beef stroganoff. But she had no specific grudge to bear against him aside from the obvious. He was a man, strike one. That her daughter chose, strike two. To move into her house, strike three. My grandmother had a low opinion of men. Lie, cry, or bribe them, she said. When a work truck filled with men armed with tree trimming poles and chainsaws arrived to trim the jacaranda tree out front and then did just that, a brisk trim and no more, my grandmother cajoled them with promises of beer and money to prune the tree down the stumps. Leave them alone, I said. I hated seeing the shade around my favorite place, a nook out front that couldn't be seen by anyone in my house stripped to bone. You don't sweep the front stairs every night. I do, she said. You know how many letters I wrote to make this happen? It was true, she'd been writing for over a decade to every California public, public, public official to trim her tree. Mayor Tom Bradley, Governor George Dugmasian, Senator Alan Cranston, even some that weren't in the same state. Grandma, Ted Kennedy represents Massachusetts. I told her. I voted for the master when he ran for president, she said. He's supposed to help old women like me. The man left, the tree blossomed. My grandmother's charm seemed vulgar and grotesque to me. To my high school friends, of course, she was a total badass. My mother, though, was awesome. When she wasn't locked in her bedroom working her job as a phone sex operator, she befriended my teenage buddies, our high school's only multi-ethnic alternative music loving collective. She peppered profanity into their conversations that first encouraged them to curse, then freak them out as they struggle to keep up. Grandma, what's a reverse butt plug? She had her likes, which became my likes naturally, and soon had copies of Disintegration and Music for the Masses sitting next to her Buffy St. Marie cassettes. Did you guys see the new Depeche Mode video my mom told my group of friends? I want Brando to get his hut haircut just like Alan Wilder. She was the cool parent you could talk music or sex with. Asking questions though meant you had to shut up and listen to her too. Did you know I'm dying, she'd say, and talk about her inoperable brain tumor, that pernicious beast that shattered her for years and burst in her head with sudden painful appearances. A dazzling storyteller, my mother had been talking about this tumor for years. My friends were more trusting. One friend's sincere greeting whenever I saw him was, so how was your mom's tumor? No topic was off limits, nothing that is except her job. Your mom's a telemarketer, one friend asked me. What does a telemarketer do anyway? That means she's in sales. What does she sell? <laughs> Office supplies, I said, or telephone equipment. <laughs>